Hello right, Aces, welcome to my channel, who's you talking to? And to them talking to you about the tales, what happens to you when you're going to jail. The jug or HMP anywhere. First of all, the process is if you're going to jail via the custody suite, that's most the most horrible experience one can have. Obviously, you get arrested, you might might you might get manhandled because obviously you were drunk, in my case I was, uh, you get stripped of all your clothes, um, and then you get a blue suit on, and then you get thrown into a cell where there's only a, a wooden board, and you might, if you're lucky, get a blanket, no pillows, and just a metal bog, and obviously just banged up, you're banged up in there, uh, a lot of things are going through your mind, i.e., when I'm gonna get out, who I'm gonna see, they don't tell you. There's a buzzer there with your beep on the buzzer, but that's only an emergency. And you get lovely cuisine, uh, it comes into a little plastic sort of container. If you're lucky enough, you might get some meat. If not, you get veggie burgers, <laughs> which come out later on, noisily. <laughs> but anyway, um, from, from the custody suite, you get loaded up handcuffed and then put onto a sweat box aka a van in a closed and holding cell in them holding cells you'll see a lot of graffiti of like the sorts and the clientele that you're going to meet hey lads where's was there 24 months bang up hey, hey, on tour everyone's on tour and the sweat box itself is stinking of ham shanks <laughs> horrible bastards Anyway, moving on swiftly, you'll get off the bus in Walton and then you'll be put into a little holding cell awaiting to go to the desk to be read your, <clears throat> to check all your, your particular, like, particularies. Caught me on that, I can't even say that. A bit too early. I did have some porridge this morning, which obviously I'm talking about now. Um, again, you go in there, in my case, you're starving. Or in many other cases, they're all rattling, i.e., they're coming down from whatever substance they were addicted to. Mine was ale, and yeah, you feel like a pint. That's the most, most time someone would give you a pint, and you could have a, a good dozen of them. And then um, you're sitting there, and then your name gets called. You go to the counter, give you all your name, your date of birth etc what you're in for and then they put you then into a holding glass cell it looks like a big fish bowl which faces the reception once you go in there it's a massive room with all plastic seats and everybody's sitting there looking at each other in a way uh, it's horrible to explain but i i found out on a cross-examination of people because i analyze people you're going to get your your predators and the victims now a victim's funny because you could go into a building site, fully dressed, casual, and get charged the, uh, the top price. Whereas if you went to a building site in a building suit or building gear, you in a bit in a, like a builder's yard, sorry, you get you you would get um, you know, you, you get the, the fair price. So if you're going in there all smarted up, then you you're in for a, a torrid time because most most people in jail, the scallies in Liverpool, they come in anyway in the trainees and the trackies preparing for what's to come. Because you don't want to be sitting in, in a cell in a suit because the suit didn't save you. <laughs> and in this case, the suit didn't save Jerry, uh, sorry, uh, Joey Barton. Joey, if you're watching this, it was a pleasure to meet you. I'd like to see you again, mate, and have a pint with you. But in them circumstances, it was very unpleasant for you. I was on the reception at the time, working. Um, that was my job. It was a good job, because it was a good boy. Screw boy. <laughs> Get out of it, you know. It was just a job. I used to clean the corridors and stuff and hand out, hand out equipment. And in this case, one time, all the whispering was happening. And I looked over, and I didn't recognise who he was. And then on so that's Joey Barton. Barton, get here, Barton. 
Ed Bond was screaming at Joey Barton, the football player. At the time, I think he was playing for Man City, so he was Premiership. And if you watch Joey on the pitch, he's a great player, but he's got one hell of an aggressive streak. And that aggressive streak, unfortunately for him, cost him his freedom, like it did to many, like myself. And then um, it just goes to show you could be anybody, because anybody at any bank that goes to jail, it only takes a flash of an angry a, a temper, a choice where you think I can make easy money if you want to go out and graft drugs, sell drugs, um, or you want to do some embezzlement. Also, anything which you think you're in a domestic relationship, your bed's kicking right off, and you know you think that there's only one way out of there, and you retaliate. Um, stuff like that, folks. So if you're watching this now, and yet, or going out on the ale in a bad mood, <laughs> it's true, because the demons will catch you up. And um, so anyway, Joey Barnes come in, and he's come in with a, a proper top top suit. I don't know what brand that was. Might have been Armani, not Prime Armani, Armani. <laughs> and anyway, I give him his track suit. And I didn't, I couldn't believe how small he was, because on on the screen they all look like, you know, they all look like muscly, athletic, and you know, like gaffs on the telly. But when you actually see a footballer, you know, I'll I'll leave me on. And I honestly believe I fought Joey, and he had one. I give him his judo, he just stayed. Yeah, he had the thousand yard stay straight away, like that thinking the whole world's going to jump on his back. And then um, I give him his tracksuit and he said, eh, what about trainees? I said, unfortunately, your wheels, we don't give out no wheels. That's what they call it in there. You'll have to get them sent in. So he's going to then look like the biggest Wally, the C word, <laughs> in jail. And he would be victimised, he'd become a victim. Because <laughs> all of a sudden he's got his great tracksuit on, which by the way, they, they just, they've been dried and washed that many times and they've got fluffy bits on them. They look just something that you'd see in the back seats of Birkenhead. <laughs> You're not even messing. But he's walking around with half masks on, with winkle picker brogues. Now, with Joey, it was, you, you actually walked with the pigeon walk with your brogues on. And you you had to go because he, he got put on J wing. And on J wing was a, a a wing which was like the back of the jail. So he had to do the walk of shame. I don't know if you know this, but Walton's about from the time you get in, it's about three quarters of a mile with all the the U turns and bends. You had to go through the reception, all the way from the reception, all the way through through B wing. And that's B wings for five landings. He's on the ones, he's on the twos. But the twos is the ground level. The ones is below in the dungeons. Yeah. They send some right people to the dungeons. <laughs> but you got ones, twos, threes, fours, and fives. And you, you go in there, and it's, it is called a big house because it is one enormous building. And remember now, in jail, there's no windows because obviously with all the capers that was going on through the bars. They were sending drones, <laughs> drones with drugs on. What sell you then, mate, because you got a small bar? I'm in, I'm in three, two. Anybody who went to jail knows that, one, two, three, and they could just send drones in. So obviously, what did he do? They put pair specs on. Pair specs onto your cell. Now, in the winter, it's nice and warm. You're made up. Come spring and summer, that sun shines on that pair specs. It's like a sauna. And there's no air conditioning. The only air conditioning that you do have is a plastic plate. <laughs> like a fan. And luckily you've got running water in your cell. But you don't really want to flood your cell out because you'll get you'll probably get moved to the block or it's just a, an ongoing an ongoing sort of punishment. So you just have to get some water, rub it on your face, sit there for 10 minutes. And uh, one, one time, 
whilst I was in there, we used to fan ourselves, sit there all day. Now, you get one hour when you first go in of, of uh, association on the wing, uh, and that's at night time where you've got to use the phone and, and get bits and bobs like forms to get kit in. It's just a big run around. Now, the only thing is, now, some phones might be working, so there's a big queue, and you get the people who don't give a shite about the, the person next to you and just talk and talk and talk. It's in fairly, that's, that's the only release. I don't blame them, but when you're in prison, you've got to have some sort of consideration, especially when you got lads who just like, yeah, oh, me, yeah, yeah. So what's happening then? Yeah, yeah, what's happening, lad? Yeah, what's happening? And what's happening? He's asked him what's happening, and you're in the queue thinking, there's not much to say, and, but he's on his phone, he's wasted his time. And then there's times you can't use it. No, come on, get behind, get your water. That means, like, last orders, <laughs> you got to go to the, the uh, where, where they serve hot water. Now, it's not boiling water, because it was that boiling, it would be a, the biggest weapon which was being used in sugar attacks, where you could fill your cup up with hot water. I get a lot of sugar thrown at you. So Joey Barton, anyway, back to Joey Barton. We, we went on a tangent there. He had to go to J-Wing. And uh, as I said, he walked right through. And everyone who knew him was just giving him hell on earth. Hey, Joey! Joey, you're not hard in here, lad. Joey, we're coming for you, Joey. Joey, you victim. Joey, Joey, you fucker. And I was just, poor Joey was getting fucking cursed all the way through so anyway i bumped up to joey in the j wing and he, he actually he was settled in and he just kept his gob shut done his time and got out and i, I reckon joey would not like to be in that place the stench of it the smell of it the people you don't get no sleep in one either really because when you're asleep there's always clanging of doors chains bangs lads who are on one screaming banging the, um, and another time which made me laugh was a fella called Mr. Cambridge. I called him Mr. Cambridge because he come in into the reception and he was straight away, can I speak to someone who was in charge? Screw. Sorry, what did you say? I'd like to speak to someone who's important. <laughs> straight away, it's a no no, isn't it? Because the screw's gonna go, well, who's this cheeky fucking so and so? No, no, I, I just want to complain because I shouldn't be here. Right? I've come down to Liverpool. We had a stag do. I don't know what's went on. I, I mean, I didn't. I I did intensely mean to hit the policeman. I I know I had too many ports, you know. <laughs> but did you, could I make a phone call? Get in the shell there. No, no. I I need you to go in the shell. No, no. You don't understand. You say I do understand. There's the door. Go in there. Get processed. I do as you're told. Do you understand me? No. About ten. No, 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 no. I should not be here. No, I should. Well, everybody says that, mate. So just get your ass right into that holding cell, and don't say a word until you get processed. So we came into the into the cell, and Mister Cambridge, straight away. Uh, no, and some lad, the prayer mantis of 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 the jail. He came in, seen him. Straight away, victim. All right, lads, where are you from, mate? Uh, I'll say again, I'm from Cambridge. So you want a phone then? Yes, I'd like to make, I'd like to make a phone. Well, if you give us how much money have you got there, lad? You got any money on you? No, 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 it's just, you know. Well, what wing are you going on? Because I can give you a phone there. It's going to cost you the 500 quid. It's called the dock. I'll get you the dog, lad. 500 quid, yeah. Right, make a deal now, lad, and I'll sell a sorted. All right. And the Mr. King, well, have you got to the thing now? No, you can't be saying that because you're in here. I'll get you one, all right. And straight away, he's getting victimised. You can tell people come up to him. Trying to get his canteen, canteen money. Um, Cambridge was losing the plot. So this is a message to anybody out there. Anybody out there, 
who contemplates of committing anything which you think it's dodgy, beware. Because when you're in there, it, it is, it's it's absolutely torturous hell. You've got no family, you've got no friends, you feel isolated, you feel alone. Now there's a battle, there is a jungle, fights do happen. There's always times, and I, I personally think it's an experience that touch wood, because you never say never, and never ever grace them at the gates of Walton again. So folks, there you go. More tales to come. Take care.